Hello and welcome to Math with Miss V. Today we're looking at graphing and proportional relationships and understanding what a graph is telling us. In this video, we will review how to graph on a coordinate plane and we will learn how to tell if a graph is a proportional relationship. So how do we graph? A coordinate plane is made up of seven main parts. The x-axis and the y-axis marked by the dark blue dark black lines on the graph. The origin, which is where the x and y axis cross each other and our starting point for when we graph. And the four quadrants, one, two, three, and four. We graph by placing a point based on its ordered pair. For example, two comma one. So we're gonna graph this based on the ordered pair and we graph in alphabetical order. So we move along the x-axis first and then the y-axis. So on the x-axis, we would count two from the origin towards the positive direction and then up one along the y direction in the po positive y direction. And this would be our point two comma one. Okay, so now we're gonna look at how to tell if a graph is proportional or not. Okay, so if it's proportional, it will answer two questions with yes. Is it a straight line? And this sounds odd, but we mean in any direction. It can be a horizontal straight line. It can be a vertical straight line or it could be a some sort of diagonal straight line. But it will have no bends and no curves in it. It will be straight um, so much so that you could take a ruler and line it up with the edges. The other thing we look at is, does it pass through the origin? So the origin, remember, is where the x and y axis cross each other. So none of the graphs I've drawn have drawn pass through the origin, but I can put one more down that follows both the rules. So it is straight and it passes through the origin. So of the four different colored lines on this graph, the green one would be proportional. It's a straight line that passes through the origin. So let's look at a few examples. So are these graphs proportional? I've put our two questions up as reminders. Is the line straight? Okay, so for question one, for both of them, is the line straight? Yes, I'm gonna put a check mark. Yes, this is a straight line. The second one, yes, that is also a straight line. So question two, does it travel through the origin? Okay, the origin is where our X and Y axis cross each other. Yes, this travels through the origin, so it is proportional. Okay, here's my origin. This line does not travel through the origin, so it is non-proportional. Okay, so we have one proportional and one non-proportional. Let's look at our next set of examples. Okay, this first one, is it a straight line? Yes. Does it, or I'm sorry, no, this is a curved line. Does it travel through the origin? It does, yes, but because it's a curved line, this is non-proportional. Okay, our last example of looking at graphs, is this a straight line? And no, it's not. we It's got a bend in it where it changed directions. Does it travel through the origin? Yes, we don't have our full graph here, but we can see that it does go to the origin. But because we did get one no answer, this is also non-proportional. Okay, so let's try building a few graphs of our own and seeing if they're proportional or not. So the first thing we need to do is label our graph. I'm going to put price along the side and ounces along the bottom. And so we have enough room. 
this is large enough, I'm going to just label my even numbers. Oops, that's not an even number. This counts by five, so I'm going to count by fives, but I'm going to skip lines so I have more space. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now I'm ready to graph, so I'm going to use a purple. So for two ounces, we spent $5. So I'm going to go to two up to five and put my graph. For four ounces, I spent $10. So over to four, up to 10, six for 15, 20, and eight. Okay, now I'm going to draw my line. I always like to start at the back dot and then connect forward and see if it extends nicely through the origin, still touching all of my dots, and it does. So this is a straight line and it goes to the origin, so this is proportional. Okay, and we have one more example to look at. So we have two plants, plant A and plant B, and they've been growing for uh, three weeks. And so we've been asked to graph and tell if they're growing in a proportional manner. So I'm going to put the weeks along the bottom. And I'm going to put the height in inches, let's say, along the side. Plant A is going to be red. Oh, let me label. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plant. So plant A at zero weeks, so right here, was zero, okay? After one week, it, no, after, yep, yeah, after one week, it grew three inches. After two weeks, it grew six inches. And after three weeks, it was nine inches tall. And let's just connect these dots all the way down to the zero. And then plant B will make that blue. At week one, zero, it was also zero inches. At week one, it was four inches. At week two, it was six inches. And at week three, it was 10 inches. Okay, so with this one, I can see if I can't draw a straight line because I'm gonna miss some dots. So I'm gonna have to draw it in pieces. I'm gonna draw here to here, there to there, and then there to the beginning. So are either of these proportional? And we can say, yes, plant A is proportional. We can see plant B hasn't had a steady amount of growth. It grew a lot, then it slowed down, then it grew a lot more. And we can see this bend in the line. So this is a non-proportional relationship. Okay, thank you for stopping by Massive Miss V. I hope you, this has helped you out. I look forward to seeing you in the future.